Uh, well, my mum came here um, into Hayward House uh, last May. Um, initially, it was for symptom control, but actually, we thought we were going to. Uh, she was going to pass away at home because uh, she literally took to her bed. It was incredibly difficult to manage, and so reluctantly, I requested that mum come here. Um, and very kindly, they did accept uh, my mum in. And um, you know, it was the first time in weeks that I had felt safe leaving her in the care of people because I can't re-emphasise the word safety. Those were my key concerns with my mum in her final months. And you know, here automatically that weight and the burden of being my mum's carer and responsible for all of her complex care needs, that burden lifted. And it meant that I could enjoy being her daughter. And so mum was able to come here up until the final weeks for day therapy and then very sadly my mum developed a chest infection at home that just didn't resolve and it accelerated her other underlying life limiting condition, pulmonary fibrosis and the pulmonary hypertension um, and led to organ failure. Um, I got a phone call from the GP and the GP said mum needs to be in hospital and I said I don't want her to go there and she doesn't want to go there. Um, you know, and, and so well, she's just so poorly. I said, well, what about Haywood House? Is there no capacity in Haywood House? I said, because that's the only place that I think I would feel safe leaving my mum and that mum might be willing to go to. Um, so thankfully, I got her here um, into a beautiful room on the side. It was a beautiful sunny day. Before my mum lost consciousness, she asked me, what's the weather like? Have you gone through all that drama? I said, oh, it's a beautiful sunny day. And so we came in here, got her into the side room. What that allowed me to do was then be able to arrange video calls for family members that live too far away to get here. Um, and then just allowed me to be her daughter and say what I needed to say to her in the final hours. 